Hello. 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 My name is Dekwa Njiro. I appear alongside Mr. Omari. Good morning, Your Honor, I'm present. Council present. Thank you. Mr. Mwenda Njage, Council present. Mr. Ngatia, Council present. Mwenda is present. I'm present, Your Honor. Mr. Ngatia. Good morning, Your Honor. And Mr. Shadrach Wamboy. Good morning, Your Honor. I am present. Thank you. Procedure code. Your Honor, um, the applicant in this motion seeks orders <coughs> to have the respondent detained for four days. And the said notice of motion is supported by an affidavit sworn by one Cop Corporal Bernard Gikandi, number 67343, which application is premised on the following grounds. Respondent and companies associated to him to meet the Keza Sako Society, Society Limited, Gakuyo Real Estate, and Gakuyo Investors Club is under active investigations by the applicant involving a case of um, conspiracy to commit a felony. To it, obtaining money by false pretenses, stealing and money laundering. The investigation involves over Kenya shillings, one billion, 
which was allegedly obtained from unsuspecting Kenyans. About 50,000 citizens who entrusted their money to the respondent. As the prosecutor proceeds at her application, we have had her testify to the affidavit that has been sworn by one Frederick uh, uh, Bernard Vicandi. And we are wondering about the capacity of the prosecutor and attest. And therefore, if whatever she's submitting on your honor is going to go on record, it will be prejudicial to the defense. In the sense that we do not have the ability of testing the veracity of the affirmance that the prosecutor is making from the bar. And we are therefore objecting to that line of submissions. Because this will fly over the face of a fair trial. The prosecutor is testifying as though she is a deponent of the affidavit. You know, that application for the objection will be interest by the learned friends. Mr. Mari may say something else, and that's just whoever has something to say. to God that the evidence has given this before this court, touching the matter of the shall be true, the whole truth, helping God. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm number 67343, called Pro Banand Gekandi, attached to the Electorate of Criminal Investigation. Financial Investigation Unit in Nairobi, within Nairobi County. And I am competent and of sound mind to swear this up uh, to the Matasia Bureau. Your Honor, I am one of the investigators in this case where the DCI is investigating a case of conspiracy to defraud obtaining money by false pretenses, stealing, and money laundering involving over Kenya shillings one billion, allegedly stolen by the respondent in this case, that is one David Kariuki Gari Alaska Kuyo, and the companies associated with he, to him, Yona. Yona, the investigations are at advanced stage and the respondent is likely to be charged in several cases involving over 50,000 victims spread across the Republic of Kenya. Your Honor, that there has been a public outcry from the said victims and other affected persons over the funds lost or allegedly stolen by the respondent and companies associated to him to it, a Kesa Sako Society Limited, Gakuyo Real Estate, Gakuyo Investors Club, in light of the closure of the offices belonging to the respondent and the seed companies. Your Honor, I fairly believe that the respondent in this case, that is David Kariuki Gari, is aware of the ongoing investigations and impending arraignment in court over the said investigations. Your Honor, the respondent is a holder of a valid Kenyan passport that I, has, I have uh, attached, Your Honor, and marked as BN1. On that on 21st February 2024, the last that is David Kariuki Gari, was intercepted at the immigration desk at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport while on transit to Zambia 
out of this court's jurisdiction. And this one can be evidenced by document marked BN2 being the body pass, Your Honor. Your Honor, the respondent was subsequently arrested and is currently detained at Muzaira Police Station. Your Honor, I fairly believe that the respondent is a flight risk and is likely to escape the jurisdiction of this court, Your Honor. I fairly believe that the respondent is likely to interfere with the ongoing investigations, including contacting critical witnesses and concealing material documents necessary and relevant to the investigations, Your Honor. Your Honor, the players thought should be allowed in public interest and interest of administration of justice that this Honorable Court has jurisdiction to issue orders sought by the applicant, in this case, the, the, the public through Directorate of Criminal Investigations, in this application, Your Honor. Your Honor, I swear this affidavit in support of the application. Your Honor, what I have deponed is true to the bare research of my knowledge, save for what is deponed on information and brief sources of which I have disclosed. Your Honor, I have annexed my affidavit, of which I have appended my signature, as a proof that these are the contents that I would like the court to listen to. Perhaps um, for clarity in the proper procedure, uh, may we then know whether counsel is objecting to us producing this document? Because the only marked that we produced then he objects to the production of the documents. Noting that, Your Honor, even in their application, what they have given us is an extract of the passport. Mm -hmm. So that then, Your Honor, we're able to substantively make submissions to the admissibility of a document. Because all what you presented before this court is a document marked DMFI. It's the only document. that can allow him to leave the country. It is with the police. We add that passport be deposited in court. The third ground they are raising is the multitude of complainants. To the tune of 50,000. <coughs> the court has powers to impose conditions on the respondent. And those conditions, if not complied with, the court is clothed with serious teeth to bite. And it can order, if at all, it will be charged stays behind bars until the trial is over. You know, the fourth reason why they are saying they want four days. They have not disclosed that fourth reason at all. It's not there. You know, it's my humble prayer that you grant the respondent conditional release either by bail so that he complies with the conditions of this court.
You know, this is not a responded brought by warrant of arrest. This is not a respondent that the police have produced police summons that were telling him come to the DCI and he never came. This is a respondent. The state wants the whole world to believe that he was aware what the investigators were doing. You know, the DCI is the top-ranked <coughs> criminal investigation team in the whole of Africa. They are not admitting that the, their investigations are easily available to the, this one pastor. It's not true. Your Honor, we urge the court to enter him into bail. We also urge the court to put conditions very critical. They are claiming he was aware that they were going to arrest him, which means the church it was ready. Because if they are going to, uh, if they were going to arrest him the DPP could have approved the church. Then today, they would have brought a church before this court. By conduct of the state, the DPP might have rejected to approve the church today in the morning. And they are trying to convince the DPP to approve the church it. And that's why they are seeking them for this. John, as I've said, this is a person of status in this country. This is a leader in this country. Give him conditions. He can be reporting after six hours to the police station. <laughs> I forgot, Your Honor, my good friend Kenyanjui knows the Oscar Sudi Kipchumba case. We are professor. I don't have the citation. We are professor Ngugi says, use the least restrictive measures. Is detaining him for four days the most rest, the most the less restrictive order. You know, I find that it is the most draconian aspect of the state's police powers. He submits to you as humble as he is that release him to go home. to continue his work. If the state wants to charge him, he's available to take plea if at all he has, the state has evidence against him. <clears throat> and definitely there is no evidence because for six, five and a half years, the state could have already arraigned him before court of law. You know, I humbly plead on behalf of uh, Bishop that they <coughs> let him go back home. The trip to Zambia is already cancelled. Spell out serious conditions. My good brother, Kenyanjui knows the battle in the Obado governor's matter. Yeah, Your Honor, I, I am now struggling to... No, no, no. The, I have no authorities. No, 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 not even that. Your, Your Honor, I'm struggling to, to follow what my learned friend is, is, is saying. And also, 
again rejoin them. All right, I've moved away. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? That uh, this person should not be discriminated just because he's a religious leader. Senior government officers, governors, name them, they have been released on Kashmir. And all the witnesses are employees of the county. From Kidero, from Sonko, from Governor Obado, they were released on Kashmir. And yet, the witnesses who belong to the state were their employees in the county. Let him not be discriminated because he's a religious leader. Mr. Mambola, my good brother here is telling me, man, that, Your Honor, I'm, I'm told that uh, the Easter vacation is coming shortly, and fasting is part and parcel of their occupation, <laughs> unlike us. <laughs> you want to allow him to fast and pray for those ones who go to church, like my good brother here. Thank you.